It is finally race weekend once again in Phoenix, Arizona. The Instacart 500 coming to Phoenix Raceway this weekend. You can see coverage of the cup race on Sunday. 12 o'clock local time is when it starts on Fox. It's 3 o'clock Eastern for all you guys back east. And joining us here on the inside lane to preview this weekend's action. He's the 2008 USAC National Focus Midget Champion. The 2012 Arca Menard Series Rookie of the Year. And the first Arizona-born driver to win in the NASCAR Cup Series. Driver of the Hendrick Motorsports, number 48, Ally Chevy Camaro. From Tucson, Arizona, it's Alex Bowman. Alex, thanks for joining me, man. Yeah, thanks for having me. What an intro. I think you're the only, only interview I've done all day that I got a big intro like that. So I'll take it. I appreciate it. Hey, well, you need one. I, I already said the accolades, and you're coming back here to your home track. And I know it's already a big race for that home state track, I guess I should say. You, you grew up a couple, couple hours away or something like that. But this is another big race because your dogs are really behind you this weekend. You and Ally are doing something so cool. You got a sweet ride teaming up with Best Friends Animal Society. Ally's making a $1,000 donation to a local animal shelter. You're matching that and then auctioning off your helmet. I love the fact that you and Ally are teaming up for this. So how did this all come together? Because I know that the relationship between a sponsor and a driver is so important, but you don't see this all the time. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I think, you know, just got talking with Ally about things that uh, that I'm passionate about. And obviously helping animals is, is one of those. Res um, Roscoe is a rescue dog. So uh, I'm, I'm all for it. It's, it's been a lot of fun working together so far. Um, they reached out to best friends and we, we started working together and it's been really cool. Um, you know, I feel like I'm forever learning more about best friends and all the awesome stuff that they do, but, um, yeah, they kind of, they picked out shelters in each market we go to for the rest of the year. We're going to donate a bunch of money. Uh, if we win, the donation goes up to 10,000. So that's really cool. And then, uh, it, yeah, we're auctioning off the helmet at some point this year. So that's going to be neat. So it's, uh, it's cool to be a part of it. You know, uh, Best Friends is a great organization. Obviously, their goal is to, to end kill shelters. So um, that, uh, that would be great. You know, there's a lot of animals that, that need homes. So cool to be a part of it. Um, excited to, uh, to have that paint scheme in Phoenix. I think it's going to look great. And hopefully uh, it looks good in Victory Lane. Oh, absolutely. And so excited to just have a Tucson native in the legendary Hendrick Motorsports number 48. You've qualified well, Phoenix. You had that opportunity when your first race for Hendrick Motorsports to almost win here at your home track. What needs to change, though, this weekend to make Roscoe proud and get that $10,000 donation to a local animal shelter? Yeah, I don't think Roscoe has been very proud of any of my Phoenix runs for the last couple of years. So um, it's been frustrating. I mean, 2016, you know, gave us such high expectations of every time we went back. And uh, it's been pretty embarrassing since then, to be honest with you. It's it's so frustrating to go to your home track where you get, you know, a bunch of family and friends watching and expecting you to run well and then then you struggle. So um, the last couple races have been really interesting. We've started the races strong, uh, run up front in the beginning and then really like falling off in the third stage for some reason. So I think, you know, with Chase winning there last time, uh, being able to lean on on him and his notes and see what he was able to do differently on all his driver data um, in the race car and, and see what the differences were with the race car. We've been able to learn a lot. Um, spent a lot of time in the simulator. And if, it, if I win, I'm gonna say the simulator was the greatest thing ever. And if I don't win, I'm gonna be like, man, the simulator led us in the wrong direction. So the, uh, the word's still out on that, but um, you know, I, I'm really confident that we've made a lot of great changes and, and should be really good this weekend. Well, hoping to see that number 48 out front and would love to see some more donations going to local animal shelters. I do want to turn to the dirt real quick because this Chili Bowl was very interesting. I don't know how many times we have two NASCAR teammates running in the Chili Bowl. Your teammates Chase Elliott and Kyle Larson running in the Chili Bowl this year. You weren't though. You were owning C.J. Leary's car. I get that, but it's like, man, I don't know how many opportunities you're going to get when you have two teammates in the Chili Bowl, and even Slick Bill Byron was down in the infield on Saturday. Yeah, yeah, I was there. I was working. Um, <laughs> yeah, this Chili Bowl was really a struggle for us, honestly. I, I, didn't, I don't think any of us really expected it to go as poorly as it did. Um, you know, we kind of took the same package we've been running for a couple years now and just didn't work. So um, I've got... 
a car all cut up behind this computer and um, we're going to go try some stuff here in a, in a couple of weeks and see if we can kind of dial our stuff in. Cause that was, that was a really poor showing for us compared to at least how we normally run. So, um, yeah, I mean, it, it was a lot of fun. We definitely won the party at least. So, um, the only trophy we got from that was a hangover, but it was a good time. Um, really enjoyed hanging out there with my friends and, uh, that's a great event. You know, the, the dirt side of things is really cool. I feel like people look at me as a dirt guy, but I spent way more time in pavement open wheel cars than I did on dirt. So, um, learning a lot, I'm going to go run the sprint car some this year and it'll be a good time. Yeah, I think you're going to learn a lot in a lot of different ways. Talking with Tucson's Alex Bowman here on the inside lane, getting ready for the Instacart 500. He'll be in the number 48 Ally Chevy Camaro. You're going to learn a lot because now you're jumping into the world of ownership. You got Josh Wise coming out of retirement, your training coach. Then you're going to get CJ Leary back in the wing car as well. Josh is running on pavement for crying out loud. You've only been doing dirt, uh, dirt midget racing so far. Has Mr. H, Hen Rick Hendrick, talked to you at all about jumping into the world of ownership in motorsports? I think him and Jeff Gordon are just laughing at me. Um, <laughs> and they're like, man, you must not like money. So, um, yeah, it's uh, it's been interesting for sure. Laying out a schedule, um, you know, looking for the right person uh, to, to hire at ABR to kind of take over things because I, I can't go run 29 races on my own, right? So, um, we hired Joe Gertie. That was, that was really good. That's been really great so far, but you know, I feel like I have less to do now that, that he works here. So I kind of come here and pretend to work all day, but it's, uh, it's been really cool to, you know, put all the parts and pieces together. Our first race is in a couple weeks. So we're getting geared up to do that. But yeah, I mean, I think the, the common, what everybody thinks of it is, man, you must not like money, but um, we're going to have a lot of fun this year. It's going to be really cool. So Josh Wise in the pavement midget, that's so cool. And then you got CJ Leary running the wing car and CJ Leary runs for an Arizona based team in USAC sprint cars, runs a Meyer special at Arizona and silver crown runs for Arizona born Alex Bowman in the midget. I don't know what his deal is with Arizona, but for you, you're going to be racing the sprint car two, Fremont and Attica. You've only practiced the wing sprint car once, right? How did, how did this come together? Yeah, I think CJ has to run for people in Arizona because nobody likes him in Indiana anymore. But uh, I'm just kidding. He's one of my one of my best friends. But, uh, you know, I, for me, like I feel like a wing sprint car is really probably the best race car um, that can teach you new things and kind of I mean, I'm going to get back on a cup car and probably feel really slow compared to a wing car just with how th how fast things happen. So just, you know, something that I feel like can make me a better race car driver. Um, you know, we have those two off weekends. There's an opportun opportunity for me to race four times in, in four days and, and go have a lot of fun doing it. So, um, you know, some slick, slow racetracks that Joe has a good tune up for and uh, should be fun. Probably get my butt kicked and look really dumb, but I'm going to have a lot of fun doing it. Well, excited to see you back on dirt again later this year. And of course, excited to have you back at your home state track of Phoenix Raceway. Instacart 500 this Sunday on Fox. Coverage starts at 12 local time, 3 o'clock Eastern. Alex, best of luck to you. Best of luck to you, Finn and Roscoe, trying to raise some money across the nation this year for local animal shelters. So cool to see. Looking forward to having you back here in Arizona this weekend, Alex. Yeah, thanks for having me. Have a good one. Hey, my pleasure. You, and I hope you have a good one too. A better one than me this weekend. This is the Inside Lane on Sports 360 AZ. Keep it right here to Sports 360 AZ. Everything going on, Phoenix Raceway, race weekend.